All right, so here we are. Volkswagen LT46. We've got a new spray job. It was an ex-West Yorkshire ambulance. Um, and we've converted it into a camper. So we just had it all sprayed up. Little light bar on the front. Not sure if it looks silly or not, but we'll go with it. A few blue lights there. Clear screens. Just for show purposes, really. Got all the arms sprayed up. We've got these centre caps, but we're just waiting for them to dry. Just put the old fresh locks on and the side lockers. That looks uh, quite uh, good on there. Put the original auto eject on there. We're going to try and see if a 240 socket will fit in there. Just through. Side door there. And then this is the back. What we've done is we've Done under under seat storage here and here. Batteries are going in the front, but got me a little brew shelf. Everyone's got to have a brew shelf. Just a bit quirky, really. A little gas boiler lockers going in there. Rear step in case I clonk anything. New plates on, new lights are on, new number plate lights are on. Just cheap cord carpet, it's done the job. Just makes it a bit warmer. Got side, big side locker here. Drop down step. Little cooking shelf. nice for a beer or a, do a bit of outdoor cooking. Something a little bit different in it. <clears throat> this is the inside. Just need to change the jets on that one. Rig it up. And we've got the fridge will be in here. We've got a little slide out shelf we've just built. Just needs painting. So, just a bit of a kitchen area, just keeps it all out of the way nice and fresh. Little sink, and we've just done a decent sized sink, slots in nice, pull out tap, wastewater. Five quid from a charity shop. Little spices and all your pastas and rice and what have you. An internal cupboard there, which we'll uh, going to try and get all the electrics in there if we can. Still got original ambulance stuff in there, but we're going to try and hook all that up. Four big drawers there, all the cutlery in and bits and bobs. This is a bonus, absolute bonus this cupboard. So all our tins and cereal and juice and bits and bobs will go in there. It's quite handy that is. Bit of a tight squeeze but it works. Little wardrobe, just need to do a bit more work on that. Hanging pole underneath here. Underneath, get all our coats in. And then we've got the little TV. Just shut this cupboard. And then we've just built this for our dirty shoes and walking boots and stuff. Get that lined out. Some waterproof gear. And some little and decor bits just keep the good lady happy. Let's 
storage there. And then that turns into a huge king size bed, which is really good. We both, I'm 6'2 and the good lady's 6 foot, so it's 7 foot across there. So we've got plenty of room, absolute plenty of room. Nice little IKEA blinds. I just need to tuck them behind there, just gives you a bit of privacy when you're out and about, or if it's a bit warm. And then just in that little cupboard, hopefully, we're going to get the gas boiler in there, but we'll see. Removable table. This side, just a bit of a memory board, pin board. And just some bits we've made out of wood and little bits like that. Little cupboard. And then just a little fancy bit with some lights. Little shelf. Old little Tommy crappers in there, so it's out of the way. Vented at the back. And then I've just done another little drop down shelf just for when we're cooking, really, just for extra. Extra shelving. That's going to be our wastewater and fresh water, and then we just need to get a, a gas locker in there because there's a drop out vent underneath this white shelf in here, and we separate it all just so it's a bit separate from the from the hub. Work in progress. See all there freshly going off. Nice little access window to the cab, just in case we kept it in, just in case of an emergency. I don't think I'd get my ass through it, but just gives you a bit of reassurance. Nice cheap laminate flooring. We might end up taking that up because it is quite weighty, but it is a five and a half ton ton van. A bit of ivy and homemade woodwork, just to brighten it up a little bit. And then in here. We're going to get uh, some little LED lights. Um, we've got got plenty of little lights in, but see how it goes. All under store storage underneath there. All storage underneath there. All storage underneath there. All lifts up from the inside. Nice little table. So, oh, Jesus! Nice little table there. It's made out of a bit of ply. Board. Yeah. So that's it. Like I say, Volkswagen, which is done as well. Sprayed it a nice grey colour. TDI, which is a nice, uh, nice van to be fair. A bit floaty on the old body, but understand why I've been a five tonner. Done by Wass. Get some nice wheel trims. Gonna get a few extra lights in there. And we're gonna try and get a nice light bar just across this top bit here if we can. And then maybe or if not we'll get it across this uh, bonnet here. Still need sanding down and then buffing out, but slow old job as you all know. Got the new lights on, not rigged up. Got an auto electrician hopefully coming in week on Saturday and then get a light bar up there. We just need to get some plastic and try and heat it up and bend it over there and then t try and tiger seal it and get a couple of small light bars just to cover the plastic uh, the plastic up which it should look all right again IKEA blinds is quite good quite cheap enough quite easy to fit just keeps it keeps the sun out when you're knocking about a few little stickers as you do bunting was made by family which is very kind of them, thank you very much. 
So hopefully we're getting the water heater in there. And then all the shore flow pump will go in there. And then we've got a bridge to go in there. 